to Alan Cooking and today we're going to be treating you guys to some locally grown rabbits. Um, I'm at my friend Shane's house and we're going to be cooking poiki today. Poiki is a traditional South African dish originating from way back in the 1700s when the fur trekkers came to the Cape um, and what they did is they would travel around and when they would shoot their game they would chuck the game into a pot um, and it would cook for three to six hours with some veg in there and essentially that's what Shane, how are you doing? <laughs> Good and you. Thanks so much for inviting us around to your place. And what are we doing here, Sancha? I'm mixing the flour. So guys, this is just a basic white bread dough that we're making and um, we're going to cook like some little flat breads on the fire. And you can use rice or potatoes, but I've chosen to go with like a nice bread dough today. So guys, the ingredients for today are as follows. We have Beautiful white onions. We're going to do a little bit of garlic in there. Um, potato. Potato helps just thicken the sauce a bit. Um, we've got some mushrooms which we're going to use. Some butternut squash. Um, we've got some courgettes and they'll go on at the end. Carrots, cauliflower and some red cabbage. As you can see over here I've got some spices. Um, and then we have the star of the day over here. This is our rabbit. So if you can see here we've got three or four small rabbits and uh, they were slaughtered yesterday and we're going to chop that up in a second. Right guys, now for the prep of the ingredients. Uh, here we've got our white onion. So the recipe just calls for you to slice your onions. So you just take the outer layer off. Quick lesson for how to chop onions guys, or how to slice onions should I say. Always leave the root attached so you can see like there the root is attached still so that when we chop it it doesn't fall apart uh, well, actually that's more for when you're chopping but slicing is not so important so slicing just run your knife through as you can see onions normally tend to kind of form the base of most uh, stews you'll find um, we've got a little bit of garlic which we're going to use today as well so let's just do the same with that get it chopped up give it a smash with a knife so we'll just add that to our onions. All right, next up, we're going to peel some carrots. So here we have our potatoes. As I said earlier, the potatoes kind of just help with thickening of the, the sauce. And here we have our, our cauliflower. And all these offcuts um, are going straight to the rabbit's hatch. And again, this will just go in closer to the end of the cooking of the rabbit. And then we have our red cabbage as well. So again, it's ready just a rough cut. All right, guys, so let's just finish up with our veg prep here. So here we've got our mushrooms. So I'm just going to get them sliced up. And these will go in shortly after the onions and garlic um, once the meat's colored up. We also have a bit of celery here. Here we go, just run your knife through that celery. And that's it, that's our veg, prepped and ready to go. Right guys, so here we have the rabbit. And uh, as you can see, they are quite small. I'm used to working with slightly bigger ones. So normally what I do is I just pop the legs, break the legs off like that. And then what I'm gonna do is just run the knife through there, through the joint. So you've got little legs like that. Again, just pop the joint. And then this is the, the saddle of the rabbit. So that's kind of where the fillet would run normally on a larger animal. So there'd be a tiny fillet running along the back of that. Um, this end here will go through the rib cage. And just take this, uh, bony bit off and then we're just going to use that bit in the poiki and with the, the legs go through the joint again so you've got the little legs like that and there we have it so two little bread. here we have um, our bread dough so we're going to be putting that on the fire so I just thought I'd show this to you I'm just going to take it out of the bowl okay so we're going to just cut it up into pieces of dough Plenty of flour just to stop it sticking to the knife. So here we are, we've got nice hearty sizes dough. There we go, we're gonna just roll this flat. Uh, 
uh, there we have it. Let me just pop that on the board. That's the first one. Put a little bit of flour over there. And then we'll put some cling film over that. Just like this. Just stop them from sticking. Guys, we're going to start with our onions in the poiki. So, yeah, it's nice and hot. Just take that lid off. So we just get a nice, generous amount of olive oil in there. Okay, so from earlier, our onions and our garlic can go in. All right, so we're just going to give that a nice stir around. Now what I've done here is I've got together a bunch of spice mix. We've got uh, turmeric, paprika, cardamom, a little bit of um, garam masala, tiny bit of nutmeg, and some black pepper. And so we're going to put that all in with our rabbits. Um, we're also going to use a little bit of white flour just to help thicken that sauce a bit more. Um, so I'm going to put that in there now with our spices. And then I'm going to literally just throw that over the rabbit. There you go. And then lots of salt. And then obviously salt in our onions as well. Guys, really important, cook with salt. Um, the salt draws out the flavor of the food. So if you add it at the end, you're not giving it a chance for it to work its way through the food. So in the beginning, add your salt. General rule of thumb. Right, so back to this rabbit. We're gonna just toss that all together. So the flour and the spices stick to that rabbit. So guys, what I've done is I've taken the onion and celery and mushrooms out now. As you can see, it's all in that pot there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color up my rabbit now. So in goes the rabbit. I've got that olive oil already really hot. And try and just kind of layer it up. Caramelization, guys, when you're cooking is really important because that's flavor. So the more color you can get on your veg and on your meats in the beginning, the better. Because you only have one chance to do that. And after that, once all your liquids are in there, uh, it's really all about just that stewing process. All right, I think we're about ready, guys, to um, add these mushrooms and onions and celery back in. So back in they go. Back into the pot. Give that a bit of a mix. So guys, now we're going to add the magic ingredient. Beer. Right, so let's open that up. There we go. In there goes a bottle of beer. Lovely jovely. Right, what's that going to do? That's going to sort of deglaze the bottom of the pot so all that flavor that's sticking to the pot's going to now come into the sauce. At this point, guys, we can also add our potato. So in goes the potato and our carrots. All right, guys, so we've got this lovely little flatbread here that we've made up um, to kind of replace the, the rice element, um, which sort of be a nice little addition today with our poiki. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to love it up with a little bit of, a little bit of olive oil, stop it from sticking to the grill too much. And we've got our grill here; it's nice and hot. We literally just want to pick that up and lay it on top. And then we're going to leave that for a couple of minutes underneath, and then we're going to pick that up. Right, guys, so we're going to be adding our other veg now. So I just wanted to quickly say something I hadn't forgot to mention earlier. With poiki, we don't want to stir this anymore, so we're going to now start layering our veg on top of the layer after layer after layer. Um, so the next thing that we're going to get on there is our squash. And I think I'm also going to go with the cabbage now. So on goes the cabbage. And don't forget, always a bit more seasoning as you go. Right, so now we're going to put the lid back on and let that cook away. Guys, the poiki is on the go. Um, from earlier, we put our red cabbage and our squash and we're not far away now from... Let's have a look and see what that uh, rabbit's meat is actually doing. Still needs a little bit longer, still a little bit tough. Guys, so the flatbread is ready. We've given it about two minutes each side. Look at that, beautiful. Ain't that tough. Guys, so we're just gonna add our last ingredients. We've got our courgettes, so in they go. 
Uh, remember what I said about the green veg and the cauliflower, they don't take as long to cook. So it's the final layer after an hour and a half to two hours of cooking. I'm sure we're all looking forward to a good poiki. We are ready to plate up the poiki, it's ready to be served. So let's see how it's looking. So we can see the, the different layers here. We've got the cauliflower and the courgettes and then underneath the cabbage, underneath that the carrots. And uh, we didn't add any more water to that and you can see there's still quite a lot of juice, quite a lot of flavor and sauce build up there. And it's got a lovely color to it. We're gonna dig in. And here we have it. There's the rabbits, look at that. All right, so Shane, here we are. We've got our poiki ready. It's looking beautiful. And awesome. of course to complement it with this Sensory Collection Grand Reserve Chardonnay from Stella Winery. And Shane, you do the honors. Not bad at all. No, look at the color of that. It's a beautiful, beautiful color Chardonnay. And let's give you some, top that glass up for you, Shane. Right, so we are here. We have made it. We've got the poiki ready and we're about to do it. It smells delicious. Wow. Oh, the smell is amazing, yeah? So where should I start? I don't know. I think just dig in. Um, wow, the meat comes off the bone. <gasps> Look at that. It's just flaking off. Oh, wow. So that's a bit of the belly. Wow, Alan, this is... This is really awesome. Mm. And flatbread. Do you like some? Yes, <laughs> thank you. And we'll just dip that flatbread in the sauce. Guys, I wish you were here to try this with us. It really is spot on. Um, you should come here more often. <laughs> it's almost got the texture like chicken, guys. If you've never had rabbit before, you can see it looks a lot like chicken. And, uh, mm. Cheers. So that's it for now. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please leave your comments, hit the like button, and subscribe. Join us next time for Alan Cooking. <laughs>